Okay guys, welcome back. Haven't done this in a long time, so here we go. Uh, but today's gonna be a fun day because we're at 8th Creek up in Westland, Oregon, and the Defy guys are coming to install their new rhythm track, and I'm gonna be working with them. So I'm gonna be filming today because it's pretty cool. If you don't know what the rhythm track is, we'll show you in a little bit. But let's go inside the church. We redid their entire broadcast system with uh, Red Dragons and some really nice Canon cinema glass. But what we're really excited about is the two Defy rhythm tracks that we got to install here. And what's really cool about these as well is that they're on trust. So we kind of wanted to walk you through how and why a little bit and then what the setup is. So uh, this room is about a thousand seats, which is super cool. Um, so the audience shots that you can get from a track way up high is really cool. So we got over here, um, we have a rhythm track going upstage to downstage through the house basically. And this is a 60 foot track. And on that track is a red uh, Dragon X with a Canon 18 to 80 on it currently. Um, cool lens, it has the servos and things like that. Um, it's actually pretty nice for the price that you get for it. Um, this gets us pretty wide, but then also tight um, over the stage type shots, which is really, really cool. And then the really, really cool track is we have a hundred foot rhythm track up here that has a Canon uh, 17 to 120 uh, cinema zoom on it. And it's a servo lens as well. So we have full control of the lens as well as the camera and a track that goes 100 feet almost all the way across the room. And at 17 millimeter, it is pretty sick, the wide shot that you can get from it. And at 120, you can also get nice tights of the stage, get nice push pulls. I mean, you can get really, really creative. We want to talk about the controls and uh, really show you how simple this, this whole system really is to use. So it's a combination of using the Newton S2 controller and Defy. Uh, pulse controller. What's really cool is that the whole thing runs from a single operator. So my feet uh, have full function of the, of the foot pedals to run the system left and right. Um, and when I run it left and right, I can set an end stop. And so basically what I'm allowed to do is I can turn the system on and I can literally drive it 
um, towards the end stop. Now I've got sensors on the ends, I've got a sensor in the middle, I've got digital stops, and I have physical stops. So a lot of operators have to run their, their rhythm track potentially in another room where they can't see it, multiple safety redundancies. The other really unique thing about the control for the sled is I can actually go into full automation mode. So I can go right into this uh, mode called repeater or boomerang, and I can click active, and the sled is fully active, and I can dial in the speeds exactly where I want them. And now the system is fully automated, and I'm running shots at whatever speed I want repeated throughout the day, which saves my legs and, and, and just keeping your energy up and make sure you're focused on the shot which is why it's most important to have your hands free for pan, tilt, focus, iris, zoom. Now on our uh, 17 to 120 that we have installed on the, the 100 foot, all of your controls are really at your fingertips. So for the operator, using this control, they've got, again, pan, tilt, focus, iris, zoom, and their feet run the sled. So everything's at your fingertips, which makes control really simple. So for a room like this running dual tracks, we're able to cover so much with just two operators, we're literally, literally covering the entire room, but we're also able to do that adding automation into the um, systems so that the, we don't have operator fatigue, but really we're getting better shots and consistent shots, which is why this whole system and the ecosystem has been phenomenal. So one of the things when you're running a track like this or a cable cam, something suspended in the air, is you do always have to access the, the head and the sled. And one of the really cool things that we did with this rig and what this track allows us to do is hang it from motors and truss. So we actually have these tracks on a 12 inch box truss and this is 10 foot stick. So there's 10 of them here for our 100 foot track and we can bring them down with the simple push of a button, which makes it really, really nice. So we got our fancy motor controller runs off a of five pin DMX, fancy box. And it's as simple as clicking the motors that I want in the right position, pressing go. And now, as you can hear, our entire 100 foot track is lowering out of the room for us to do any maintenance, have change batteries, do anything like that with a push of a button. And with the flip of a switch and a push of a button, it goes right back into the air. No one sees it, no one hears it. It's kind of the perfect setup for any sled or cable cam system. Chris here at Athey Creek, he is the production director and video producer at Athey Creek. And uh, what, are you, what are your first thoughts? of this are, are you excited oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay it's uh pretty thrilling it's uh it's like wow completely changed your world with all the new cameras and everything but like what's something super exciting that you're looking forward to having this system in the room i think we're uh what we're, we're really excited about is having something that's uh that's going to be really capturing the entire sanctuary mm -hmm. uh as we're in worship or in service um, without really being in the way of the service. Yep. Uh, one of the things that you guys really strive for is like, you don't want your production seen. It's like very hidden production, but you want high quality production. Um, and the way that this room is set up is like a living room. Like that's kind of like your leadership's goal is to make this feel like a, a living room. So having this tucked up out of the way gives you that option of hidden production. Right. Is, is that correct? Oh, is absolutely. That absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And I think more maybe ease of operation for our camera ops crew mm -hmm. uh, without having to be a jib there as well as, you know, some of the complexities of running a jib in right. the middle of a, a sanctuary. Right, because the operators for this actually aren't in this room physically. They're off in another room, but they have uh, full control of everything. They can still see everything. Um, you can see all the battery information, the speed, like you can see yeah, all the information that you need. Right. Um, from a remote location, yep. which is keeps oh. it hidden, stealthy, the living room vibes that you're going for. Um, so you guys got trained on this pretty quick. Uh, how do you think the crew took it? Like, you know, they're, you're being fed from a fire hose right now. So like, how would you say the experience was being trained on this for the first time? And I think way more, way more simple than we expected. Uh, it's definitely going to take some artistry, uh, so it's some, some time to develop the technique, mm -hmm. but 
the functionality is really straightforward. And uh, if you're a gamer, it's gonna be super easy. Right, yeah. It's kind of like flying a drone or playing a video game if you're used to like using Xbox controller or something like that. Right. It, right. It's kind of intuitive. And yep. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So there you have it. And this is really what we love to do. We love to solve problems. And for AT, it was put really high quality gear in very inconspicuous. You don't see it, you don't hear it, but it has big impact on their live stream and broadcast.